I'm going to run through a basic setup using an ST11R and Setup Assist. For this test, I'll be using a reference coil, a test coil, and some bar stock that are labeled. These are 31 Rockwell. These are 40. We'll be setting up using these as the good parts. This is a 42 and this is a 50. And we'll use those as references for failing parts later. So to get this process started, first we'll take a part and put it into our reference coil. It is important to have the reference coil uh, stable and uh, to have the parts in the reference coil be in the same position as the parts in the test coil apples to apples as much as possible that's kind of a key to all eddy current testing to get started with the software we push setup assist and then you can choose your starting configuration if at any point along this path you have any questions about how the setup assist works or what the next step should be or an explanation of any of the things on here you can just use the little question mark button and get an explanation of every setting and everything it does for this test, we're going to use internal static because the part is going to be in a static position. In other words, once I drop it into the coil, it's going to stay there for the duration of the test. Internal static allows us to have the coil sense internally when the part is present. And that is what we're going to do here. In this particular case, uh, test delay of one second is important because I'm going to be physically dropping the parts in and trying to get my hand away before the test happens. Uh, you have to make sure that you have adequate separation between your coils. These are a little closer than you'd want to have in your production. But for this test, I, I know it works well enough. So I'm going to proceed to the next step because all of these settings look just fine. And balance. We'll put the part into the test coil. I'm going to position it up against the edge of the, the coil and then hit OK. After the balance routine runs, I'm going to remove the part from the coil and set the air point. This reminds you of what to do and hit OK. Now it's time to set up the alarms. It's instructing me to add a few parts. So as I drop the part in, it's going to wait one second and then it's going to add the part. I'm going to do the same part multiple times. I'm going to do each one of the parts three or four times. I'll even turn them upside down to do it that way. These parts aren't cut completely flat, so sometimes they angle a little bit and that can affect the test. And that's probably good enough. Now let's hit setup complete and see how the test goes. First I'm going to run my good parts through to make sure that they pass. And now, suspect part. And another one. And a lower Rockwell. And that is a test complete. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to us. Have a great rest of your day.